Hello everyone and welcome to the finals of the AIMCHS Rapid Division 1 winners 2023. It is Nodrebek Abdusatarov taking on Magnus Carlsen. Nodrebek uh, defeated Levon Arunyan uh, in the semifinals and Magnus Carlsen defeated Fabiano Caruana and now they face each other. This is game one and before I check it out, I just have a quick announcement. Uh, look at uh, look at this. No, look at this. Sorry. Uh, the app that we've been working on for the past two years has finally been released. Today it is out officially uh, and amongst uh, other schools there is also the Agamato or chess school and uh, well uh, I'm gonna talk about it after I show you the actual game uh, but just so you know that uh, I will be talking about that and if you guys are interested uh, stay after the game uh, to hear what I have to say about this so let's check out the game Nodrebek Abdusatarov has the white pieces and he opens with pawn to d4 we have knight to f6 knight to f3 and pawn to g6 now we have pawn to c4 the king's indian defense is on the board and pawn to d6 we have g3 and although bishop to g7 is pretty much an automatic here and everyone plays that magnus goes for pawn to c6 and just to give you a comparison uh with bishop to g6 there are like 1500 games in the database with c6 there are maybe 50. so okay bishop to g2 he wants to surprise Nodrebek a little bit queen to a5 with check playing very forcing moves but that usually means that it's not maybe the uh, the the uh, trickiest of lines. We have knight to c3 and now knight to e4. Preparing to capture here and win some material. And of course, Nodrebek defense. Queen to b3. We have bishop to g7. Now putting more pressure on white center. Preparing to castle and just castles. Magnus trades on c3. We have b capture, strengthening the center. Also, the d4 pawn is now nicely defended. And here, Magnus just castles. We have pawn to e4. Nodrebek grabs the full center. And pawn to c5. Of course, you want to uh, get in on this action. While the rook is still on a1 uh, and uh, yeah there is a one game where knight to d7 was played but here after pawn to c5 it is now as of move 10 that we have a completely new game so okay uh, Nodrebek continues development bishop to f4 and now knight to d7 and only now that the knight was developed he uh, doesn't go for uh, uh, developing the rooks he actually goes for bishop to g5 so sort of wasting another tempo uh, developing the bishop but it does come with a threat so uh, not uh, really a loss of a tempo one would say rook to e8 magnus defense and only now rook f to d1 we have knight to b6 uh, and now queen to b5 offering a queen trade and also if magnus uh, goes for this uh, another back will be able to undouble his pawns but uh, this also means that now it's only move 14 and you are already playing an uh, a queenless endgame against Magnus. So captures, captures, and now knight to a4. Very nicely done as it uh, threatens the capture on c3 and also prevents pawn to a4. We have rook a to c1 and now bishop to e6. We have rook to c2. Uh, the problem is, okay, you could play d5 here, but then you really weaken this diagonal. And while you can play, okay, bishop d7, you play c4, then comes knight to c3, and okay, the knight is defended, the rook here is hanging, the pawn here is hanging, the pawn here is hanging, and the white starts losing material. Material. So it's not not the best. Uh, so instead, rook to c2 by Nodrebek and pawn to a6. Now Magnus challenges this pawn and wants to open up the a file for his rook. So bishop to f1 and Magnus goes pawn to h6. Kicks away the dark square bishop, bishop to e3. And now a captures on b5. We have bishop captures and now just rook e to c8. Now if some captures uh, start occurring here, then the c file will be open for this rook. The a file will be open for this rook and Magnus likes his position. Uh, rook d to c1, doubling up on the c file and now knight back to b6 we have pawn to d5 now challenging the bishop bishop to d7 offering a trade of bishops and now rook to b1 defending the bishop on b5 rook to c7 now after the tr uh, trade happens you want your b7 pawn to be nicely defended knight to d that's not a knight knight to d2 and now bishop captures on b5 we have rook captures on b5 and knight to d7 uh, we have rook back to b3 the c3 pawn uh, is given additional protection and also you want to get this pawn to a3 and get this rook behind the pawn so here rook to a4 uh, just uh, putting more pressure on white's position and now we have pawn to c4 we have pawn to b6 and now pawn to a3 now of course you know that the rook is coming to a7 so you want to be able to play rook to a2 uh, we have rook c to a7 and now rook to a2 Knight comes to e5, uh, uh, putting more pressure on uh, white's position. And here, Nodrebek has to figure out how to defend the c4 pawn. Uh, and while he could just trade here with something like rook captures on b6, let's say knight captures on c4, knight captures and rook captures, he prefers to keep the material on the board. He plays rook to c2 instead. 
Uh, but now there's a problem. Now Magnus will not allow the trade. Of course, uh, he wants to grab the b6 pawn in exchange for the c4 pawn, uh, but Magnus doesn't allow it. He just defends the pawn. Rook 7 to a6. The pawn is now nicely defended. Uh, bishop to f4 attacks the knight and knight to d7. We have rook to a2 now, uh, adding a defender to the a pawn, uh, but now just pawn to g5. Chases away the bishop from the defense of the e5 square, then the knight will go back and then the c4 pawn will hang. So bishop to e3 and now knight to e5. We have pawn to f4, but now just captures, uh, sorry, uh, knight captures on c4 first, of course, grabbing the pawn. Uh, knight captures, rook captures, and now f captures on g5. So another big win his pawn back and Magnus plays pawn to h5. You could also capture but he prefers to keep the pawns doubled uh, and uh, uh, just continue putting pressure on uh, young Noderbeck. So king to f2, Noderbeck starts bringing his king into the game and now rook captures on e4. There was no way of defending that pawn. King to f3 and now rook a to e4. Uh, rook e to a4, going back with the rook, now again putting pressure on the a3 pawn, bishop to f4, and now, uh, well, you could play something like c4, it's rapid, and uh, Noderbeck was also very, very low on time already here, so here, just bishop back to d4. Uh, after bishop to d4, we have bishop to c1, now adding more defense to the a3 pawn, and bishop back to e5 by Magnus. Rook to e2 now, if the bishop moves, you will be able to capture on e7, so king to g7, Pawn to h4 and king to g6. Magnus slowly but surely bringing his king into the game. Uh, rook to d3 and now rook to g4. Putting pressure on the g3 pawn so the king has to go back. King to g2 and now rook to d4. Putting pressure on the d3 rook. Rook captures on d4. We have c captures on d4 and now rook to c2. Uh, rook to a5 going after the pawn here. And now uh, here we have rook to c7. Which is a very interesting move uh, going after the e7 pawn but Magnus completely uh, punishes that. He plays rook to c5, and now Magnus says, now you have to trade rooks as your bishop is also hanging, and my, uh, well, the, the bishop and pawn endgame will be just completely winning for me. Uh, but there is a way to make Black's life uh, a bit harder here. Would do, do you just resign here, or do you still, uh, you know, try, at least try to persevere? Uh, feel free to pause the video, and even though your position is lost, what would you play here? Like, I imagine if it was a blitz game. What would you play here to make um, uh, a Black's, uh, you know, uh, hopes of winning uh, as, as difficult as possible. Uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding this. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is Rook to C6. This is the move that gives Black the most problems because now, of course, you cannot capture. The Rook is still defending and you cannot trade. If you if you trade, then Pawn captures and White is just winning now. Even if you play D5, it doesn't matter. Okay, the Bishop is guarding C7, but there's Bishop F4, gets rid of the Bishop, and then the Pawn just wins the game. So, uh, well, okay, it's not a forced line. Of course, after Rook to C6, Magnus would not take the Rook. Magnus would just continue improving the position. Uh, it's still the most resilient way to go down, and I hope that's uh, what you guys are always looking for. You know, uh, ma make your opponent fight for for uh, his meal or, or her meal. So rook captures on c5 is what Nodrebek played. Uh, he sort of uh, went uh, uh, down a, uh, more, a bit more quickly. D captures on c5, and now king to f3. We have king to f5, and now pawn to a4. And he was in this position on move 50 after making this pawn to a4 move that Nodrebek Abdusatro resigned the game and another clean victory for Magnus Carlsen in round one of the AMCS Rapid Finals uh, in this beautifully, beautifully played endgame. The problem, of course, is that, okay, now c4 and look at this control. There is there is no playing this. You play bishop a3, let's say you attack the pawn, uh, so, sorry, you attack the pawn, just bishop d6, you counter that, of course, the king and pawn endgame, if you trade bishops, is completely winning for Magnus, so let's say bishop b2, then comes c3, if bishop c1, then comes d3, if king e3, then d2, and and now you either give up the bishop or the queen comes into the game or king e2 upon captures bishop. It doesn't really matter. Everything, absolutely everything is winning for Magnus. Uh, so yeah, uh, very, very nicely done by Magnus. We'll see what happens in the other games. And now, uh, for those of you who are still uh, with me, uh, I will uh, discuss uh, our... our uh, 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 school for lear learning chess a little bit. Now, I've mentioned to you once on the channel, I believe already, and some, uh, I believe, 3,000 of you downloaded our app, but it was a pretty different app. A lot has changed um, uh, from then, and uh, a lot of suggestions that you guys put in were implemented, so hope you guys will enjoy that as well. Uh, but basically, uh, this is uh, what uh, what is happening. The, the app is called Improve, and the, the as it says, become the chess player that you want to be. 
the story behind the app is that, um, well, these two fine gentlemen, uh, Dean Stackle and Clay Thompson, uh, they are the founders of the app and uh, they've created it. Uh, this, the app uh, serves for more than just learning chess. For now, you can learn tennis, uh, you can learn chess. Uh, very soon, you will be able to learn pickleball. Uh, but it's uh, the idea is that it's kind of a learning platform for everything you want to do. I mean, at some point, even maybe sculpting or knitting or, or just, you know, uh, a, a motivational platform like uh, they, they want to uh, they want to be uh, uh, present and you know uh, allow people to improve uh, themselves on on every front but for now we are focusing on chess and that's what where I come in uh, we got together through a mutual acquaintance and uh, we've been working together for like a year and a half maybe uh, close to two years now and we know each other very well and uh, I can tell you these are very nice very nice people they really uh, want to create the uh, best possible app the best possible solution uh, for everyone uh, to, to be you know able to become the best they can be at, at uh, in anything they choose to be. Like I said, for now, there's tennis and chess, uh, pickleball coming soon, and, uh, well, uh, who knows where uh, where the future takes us. But uh, basically, when you click on the link in the description below, it will take you to this. This is the Agadmatos Chess School. You will click Join the School, or no, first it will take you to this, obviously. You will click Get the App. Once you get the app, you go into the app, you will be able to uh, join Agadmatos Chess School. And uh, the idea behind it is that... Uh, Basically, uh, we do not create content. Uh, my, my point being is that, okay, if you want to, if you really uh, know where you are at your chess journey, like you're maybe rated 2000, maybe 2200, maybe 300, and you, you know, you generally know where you are and where you want to go, and you really want to master, let's say, the Knight of Sicilian. Of course, uh, there are many ways to do this. You could, let's say, you could go to Chessable, you could buy Anish Giri's course for, I think it's like $150 for his video course, and maybe like $40. Um, uh, for the course without the video and uh, if you if you gobble that up I'm sure you will be like well one of the best players of the of the night of in the world okay aside from the let's say top top 200 grandmasters but you will definitely know your night of theory however if you are not up uh, you know at that level maybe you're uh, at a level where you, where you don't know how to start improving how to continue improving how to how to uh, begin even studying end games how to begin studying openings should you even be studying openings if you haven't even uh, you know began studying end games uh, that's where the app comes in as we do not create content we curate content so we take all the free content in the world we take the best from everything we take the best from every topic we take the best from opening theory from end game from uh, middle game uh, from you know uh, uh, solving puzzles from uh, uh, you know uh, learning about pieces there there are uh, uh, lessons about every piece uh, in general so there are you know even motivation even uh, how, how to approach learning so we tackle all that uh, but through all the content in the world and through all the creators that uh, we we thought were uh, good to, to to start off with. At some point, we are hoping that there will be even more creators that the app will, at some point, uh, have some sort of an AI interface where it will uh, maybe you know scavenge the inter uh, the internet for uh, all the best content. But for now, we are the ones who prepared it. Um, uh, Goran Martic and myself. You guys know Goran. Uh, I made a couple of videos about him. He's he's my brother-in-law. He also uh, played uh, you know great players like uh, Gary Kasparov in a simul. I'm sure you guys, of course, know who I'm talking about. So that's the idea. We curate all of the uh, content in the world that's free and we uh, serve you with the best possible um, uh, course of training for you. So uh, when you start up the app, uh, the app will ask you, okay, here are maybe... Uh, here are some, uh, how, how good are you at the end game? How, how good are you at the opening? How good are you at the middle game? How, how good are you at this? How, how good are you at that? And you will rate yourself and then based upon those ratings, the app will serve uh, certain content to you in order to improve in the form of action items. So uh, for example, you... Um, you, 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 you know, you're struggling finding tactics, you know, you, you okay, you're, okay, maybe you're a six, 1600 player and you want to uh, play online, okay, you play out of 1600, maybe 1700, maybe 1800 players and you play, you play an okay uh, opening, you play an okay end game, but in pretty much every game you, you blunder a tactic, you, you miss a tactic, you fall for a trick. So if that's your weakness, the app will recognize that uh, and you will be served content that will improve you uh, exactly in that area where you are weak. If you're a complete beginner, of course, the, uh, the app will try to serve you 
uh, everything in in a way that, uh, where it will be uh, the most accommodating uh, for you to learn. Uh, so that's kind of uh, what we are hoping to accomplish here. And I, I think that uh, no one um, uh, up, up to this point has, uh, you know, yeah, even tried such a thing because every learning platform, uh, you have content uh, creators that create content. Here you have uh, all the content in the world that is free, only curated, uh, you know, uh, for for you to have the best possible experience and sometimes okay uh, i could just invite you you know i have a like over three thousand videos on my channel watch my channel you know i i have some nice stuff here uh but uh, okay aside like i have a great tutorial on the evans gambit and uh, i'm sure you guys know that but maybe you guys don't like my explanation of how to checkmate with bishop and knight for some reason maybe you just don't uh, or maybe you just don't like me. I mean, oh, that, even that is possible. So you don't like uh, me explaining that, or maybe I did a poor job explaining that. There are many other creators who also uh, explained how to checkmate with a bishop and knight. And there are many other creators who tackled pretty much every topic that exists in chess, and that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to bring you the absolute best of every topic of every uh, creator, uh, you know, specifically tailored for your best experience so uh, that being said uh, uh, let me just uh, check on, on some of the other things that I might I don't want to talk about everything because there's uh, quite a lot uh, so yeah uh, tailored action plans expert to curated uh, content gamification and the supportive community to guide your journey to becoming your best self we already discussed that uh, so the topics are broke, uh, broken down into digestible custom action items. So we also talked about that, which you can uh, create yourself. The app can create it for you, but you can also, if you have a coach, if you have a father who is uh, also trying to, uh, you know, teach you or trying to get you to improve, you have a grandpa who is also really, uh, really keen of, uh, on chess and he wants to help you improve. He also wants to maybe improve himself. You can add them in the app to your team and they can also create action items for you. They know you're weak in the end game and they know you're, you're, you know, uh, rook end game is really bad and they can give you action items to improve your uh, rook game and you will be able to tackle these action items uh, you know on the bus on your way to the bar or the library or you know just doing anything you know you're taking a bath you can also do do the action items if you have a waterproof phone you can i mean do, do it even in swimming i mean you can do it really anywhere uh, also uh, yeah uh, there's the idea they say say goodbye to endless scrolling we eliminate clickbait and one size fits all classes with improve you're not left wondering what's next we guide you through clear personalized prioritized steps we already discussed that uh, okay the the um, platform is of course fun and engaging I think of it like a video game the more you learn and grow the more you level up score points win awards and compete with others motivation made easy uh, everything that we've already discussed. At some point, there will be leaderboards like who is improving the most. Uh, uh, at some point, we will also have uh, specifically made tournaments uh, just for uh, people who are trying to improve, who are part of the journey. And, uh, you know, we, we want to we wanna try and give you the, uh, like, the best experience possible and we're, we're really going to try to uh, do, a, do a great job at that as we've uh, taken like really long to create this app uh, it's been like uh, two years and uh, probably two years since we, we started discussing whether, whether to start creating it uh, or not I mean adding chess at least uh, so also uh, we know that nothing beats a team effort invite your family friends you also okay we discussed that you can add your, your grandpa your grandma your father your brother your mother everyone can create action items for you and you will uh, be able to tackle those action items wherever you are and whenever you want to uh, also uh, uh, they say that if you're ready to level up improve is available for free so you can use the app for free and you can also use the uh, the full version of the app which is subscription based you get uh, two weeks for free and then after that it's 3.99 per month uh, for for the for the absolute full experience but also uh, if you guys really want it really wanted the full experience and you cannot afford the 3.99 uh, per month you can also contact uh, us through the app uh, just you know explain your situation say why you cannot afford it but they would, you, you like it after trying it out for two weeks um, uh, you, you, you really cannot afford the 3.99 per month uh, we will grant you the app for free I don't know if it will be available right away but we will try to make it as soon as possible so you know we would like you to support us we would like you to support the creators of the school if, if it's not possible then we would still very much like you to use the app to help us improve the app uh, to give suggestions on how to make the app the experience for everyone even better uh, that's uh, that's the goal here uh, okay so yeah that's uh, we already discussed this 
Uh, we believe everyone deserves a chance to improve, uh, whether you're a beginner or expert. Improve can be your personal improvement navigator, helping you achieve a real result. Also, that that of course is the final goal. I mean, everyone, uh, maybe not everyone uh, wants to become a grandmaster. Okay, you have like a career, you, you're doing really well in this and that. Maybe you're into hiking, maybe you're into uh, riding a bike, maybe you like basketball, but you really want to, you know, hone your chess game. Okay, you're maybe not expecting to break 2700, uh, but results. Uh, re Results will definitely come. The journey will be uh, full of experiences. You know, you will meet new people. You will interact with new people. Uh, you will be part of a great community. And uh, I don't know. I, I think that uh, I really like this project. I really like the the team. Like I said, I've been uh, working with with these guys for for a very long time now. They are great people. And um, also, I've discussed with them. Uh, once you guys uh, try out the app, let's say for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe even a month. Uh, I'm going to do a live stream with both Dean and Clay and you guys will be able to come on board and ask them questions. Any question you, you like, any question you need answered will be answered by them. If you have any great suggestions, even even if you have, you know, if you say th like this is bad, don't do that. We're going to take everything into consideration and we're going to discuss it publicly. So, you know, I, I, I think it's going to be uh, very nice. Uh, and yeah, join us today and become a part of the Improve community where we're conquering goals and creating the greatest improvement platform on earth. The character leveling up is you. Uh, get started now. So there we have it. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, it's uh, you know been quite a wild ride. We've been creating it for for a very long time now. If you want to try it, if you want to, if you like it, you know do. Uh, mention it to your friends uh, at the bar in the library, you know, uh, give your grandma or grandpa a link, you know, uh, uh, you know allow people to come on board. Uh, the first link in the description below is an app where you can download it. It's available for both Android and um, uh, iOS, uh, iOS. So, you know, uh, okay. Uh, may maybe I've uh, maybe I forgot a few things. Uh, maybe I didn't mention everything. But uh, this is I'm gonna make some other videos about this as well. Uh, this is um, now okay at the at the end of this game, making it a bit of a longer video. But uh, you know, I, as I said, for those of you who are who are interested in this, I'm very glad that you stayed, that you listened to me, and that uh, you will decide to to try it out. Uh, you know. Uh, and not everyone is going to break 2700, but not everyone needs to. For those of you that are destined to break 2700, I'm sure you will. Uh, but, you know, uh, being part of a, a, a great community, a growing community uh, where you will be able to, you know, hone your chess skill, uh, participate in tournaments, uh, just, uh, you know, have fun on a daily basis. Uh, I think uh, I think we're on the right path to creating something beautiful here. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Very nicely played by Magnus. And uh, sorry for a bit of a longer explanation, but I just um, uh, you know wanted to properly introduce you to everyone, to the team. To you're also welcome. The second link in the description below will be you know to the to the entire website where you can just uh, you know read about the team, read about the broader team, as there are more uh, uh, people in the team here. Uh, so you know, hope you like it. Uh, uh, I'm uh, very eager to think uh, to hear what you think. Uh, do send us. Um, suggestions through the app uh, but also you can send it personally to me uh you know which, whichever you prefer I, i'd prefer if you send it directly to the app because then it will surely be read i get a lot of emails so you know I, people sometimes tell me i i, I skip uh, a mail or two uh, but i really don't do that on purpose i just get a lot of emails uh so yeah once again really hope you guys enjoyed that thank you everyone for listening to me uh, until the very end you are a true true uh, master of uh you know uh, uh, attention retention and uh, yeah, uh, I would like to thank James Eugene Cashman, Brad Roth, uh, Michael Marshall, BulletChessThriller.com, John Malpas for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check to all my previous videos here. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and of course, whatever else happens in the Aim Chess Rapid Division 1 Winners Tournament. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day and do check out the first link in the description uh, below. Uh, tell us what you think. See you soon.